For those of you who missed out on this week's episode of the Shadow Spark Chronicles, here's what you missed. The Grime Warden arrives in Governor's Den and Colton Frost informs the group that he will not be chaperoning them on their journey to find the Cinder Bloom as he needs to focus on the repairs of his ship. Quentin tells the group of some places they can check out before meeting his contacts. Bishop Nas decide to see an alchemist to discuss the possibility of purchasing the herb. Marzalin decides to go to the local blacksmith and Justinian heads to the temple. Quentin goes home. Upon arriving at his home, he is greeted fondly by his father. He tells his parents about the death of Hugh and his mother scolds him for not taking care of his brother. He explains that he doesn't have much time left as he has contracted Mirren's kiss as well. His mother's demeanor changes as both his parents plead with him to give up his quest and spend his remaining time with them. He lets them know that he and his friends are close to gathering everything needed to cure the plague and that he can't stop until it's completed. He does agree to spend the night with them. He sends a message to his friend Nora to go meet the group at the Rock and Stone Inn. Quentin then sends a message to Bishop explaining that he won't meet them tonight, but to look out for his friends. While Bishop Oz and Justinian strike out trying to find information, Marzalin finds the blacksmith to be very informative. She tells him that sometimes Lord Shallowstone does grant passage to the forbidden area of Tannis if the situation is right. Nora makes her introductions to the party. She and another dwarf named Cole tell them that it is possible to get into Tannis undetected, but it is very dangerous. It's decided that Justinian and Marcelin are going to write a letter to Lord Shallowstone in hopes of being granted access to the area. As the group departs the inn, a loud drunk bumps into the group, spouting off doom and gloom. He mentions a name and walks off in an alley. Marzalin suddenly runs after him and Oz's gives chase. Bishop and Justinian head toward the docks. Marzalin catches up with the drunk and tries to get more information from him, but the man's no condition to talk. Marzalin mentions the name Cyric, which causes the man to stop. He stares at Marzalin, then falls unconscious to the ground. Oz picks him up and they head back to the ship. Please join us every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as we continue the adventures of the Shadow Spark Chronicles. And as always, we'll see you in the dungeon. <laughs>